Hello, I'm going to show you how to make your own mini drum kit and one that you can put around your neck and potentially stand and play. It's very, very easy. Now, all you need to make your drum kit is a few of these crisp tins that you are very popular and you can get in pretty much any supermarket. Um, so I've used one, two, three, four, five of these crisp tins. You can use anything from one to seven or eight. Um, it's up to you how many drums you'd like and how many crisps you can eat. So you need your crisp tins. You need some really strong tape. Now I suggest you use duct tape. That's probably going to be the best thing for this um, or the equivalent, but preferably very strong tape. Sellotape or brown tape will be quite flimsy with this. So something nice and strong you can stick it to, a pair of scissors. And then if you want something to decorate your drums with. Now I've continued to use duct tape around mine and then I've just put little these little gemstone stickers on mine and um, so you can use other stickers or you can color yours in whatever you fancy so first thing you want to do get your tin and you want to take your lids off and discard them you want to put them to one side because we, we're not going to use them now make sure you've got no crumbs at the bottom you're going to turn it upside down because it's going to be the metal end of your tin that we're going to use as your main drums. Okay, so depending on how many you've got, you can either keep them all at this size or you can vary the lengths because that varies the pitch of your drum as you can hear. So, If you want to have different sizes, you need to take your scissors or if you have a craft knife, that will help as well. And you want to kind of decide what length you, you want your drum. So you maybe want one that just is a bit shorter than the full length one. You might want one that's really short, maybe one that's in the middle. So decide what height you want and then very, very carefully, you're going to pierce a hole in the tube and then you're going to cut all the way around. So once you've done that with all your crisp tins, you're then going to put them all together like I've done here and they're kind of scattered, but I've kind of shaped them in some kind of circle, circular shape. And then taking your really strong tape, your duct tape, you're then going to tape all the way around so that they're stuck together. Now, as you can see, I've been quite generous with my duct tape. I suggest you do the same. Don't be fearful of using it. Feel free to put as many layers as you like. More on, the more secure it is going to be. So once they are all secure and together like this, you're then going to make your strap. Strap is super easy. Again, you take your tough durable tape, your duct tape, and you're going to have one long line of it. So then you're going to cut another piece of tape that is the same length as the first one. And you're just simply going to stick them together like I've done here. And if you've got any excess, you just fold it over so it's nice and neat. And then I've done it here at the back of my drums. But depending on how many you've got, um, you might want to stick them more to the side. And then using again you can be quite generous with this, as many layers of tape as you like to stick your straps on so they're nice and secure. Because remember, it's going to be going around your neck. So once you've got that, you can either leave it that way or you can decorate it. And like I've done, I've covered all mine with, with duct tape and put some stickers on. But you can do whatever you like with yours. Make it as funky as you like. If you don't have drumsticks, wooden spoons, pencils, chopsticks, anything like that will just do as well. 
And there you have it, your own homemade mini drum kit.